Hello everyone, I'm back with another video and in today's video we have an HP gaming laptop and in this video uh, and this la exact model for this laptop is an HP Omen 17-AN101 model and in this video I'm going to go really quickly over how you can remove the battery, replace the battery if yours is not holding up any more charge or after a few seconds it just drops down to zero or turns off, this video is for you. By replacing the battery, you're not going to change any configuration or anything like that. It's really safe and easy to do. I'll leave the link for the tools that I use and the new replacement battery in the video description so you can purchase yours. So let's get into it and let's get it started. Tool number one is a screwdriver set. I fix it screwdriver sets are one of the best screwdrivers out there. These are made out of the S2 class of steel. We're going to be using a bit number zero. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers. If not, grab yourself a guitar pick. And metallic guitar picks are very really suitable to opening cases and covers. All right, with all this on hand, let's get into it. On the bottom of the laptop, you're gonna see a whole bunch of screws. There are two screws on the back for mid. And these screws, they have a little C-lock on the other end, so it will prevent them from coming out entirely. So you just have to rotate, feel rotate, and leave them there. Make sure they are loose enough. And the rest of the screws on the sides, they are all the same size and height. So remove them and keep them in one pile. Don't worry about mismatching them. Also, if you guys like my videos, if you find my videos helpful and helping you guys out, you can support the channel by clicking the like and subscribe. I'll greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests and answer your questions in the comment area. All right, once you remove the screw, now what you want to do, you want to grab your opening tool, you want to nicely press right in, in there between the bottom cover and the palm rest right there. And then you just want to twist it and you want to hear those click sounds. Same thing on the other side. You squeeze it right in there. It's kind of hard, but you want to manage it. And then you just want to twist it and then you want to hear those click sounds. Okay, if you can go in there, Try on the side, this side is already opening up. Let's go in the front, in the corner. So pretty much it's much easier on the front end. Once you got it loose up, all you need to do is to wiggle it around and it will eventually pop open. And right away we can see the battery right in here. The battery model is an FM08. But if you want to get a replacement part from the HP directly, you can go with a spare part number, which is 9229-76-855. I have my replacement part right in here. This replacement part from HP has a different model. There are some of them that are compatible, cross-compatible. This is a HP spare part is a 79, no, 72 98-92-001. All right, to remove the battery, all you want to do first is disconnect it, pull this cable back, remove the four screws that hold the battery in place. Once you remove all the screws, just lift up the battery, put it to one side, grab the new one in, and put it right in there. Now twist it around, bring it over. Just, you see this battery is a wrong model number. So this one will not go because the jack is a big one. So the client purchased this one in and it will not go through the connector. So this one, it will not fit. So it has to be a different model. Even if they have the same model for the battery model, but the part number, it's a different. This part number is 421. This part number, it's a different. So I'll get the link for a correct battery pins and I'll leave them in the video description. So I got to return this one to the client so he can turn it, take back. Now say that you got a new battery in, you want to put it in here, straight, and bring the connector. And squeeze it right in the in there. Has to go in evenly. And the last thing is to just put the screws right on top. 
That's why before ordering, open it up, check up the part number in here and the HP part number. And when you buy it from the buyer, make sure you have the same connectors, the same exact model. So don't go right away with the same model that appears in here. All right. Now that we got that one set down, all you need to do is to put the bottom cover on top and squeeze it down. And one thing very, very important is once you put the new battery in, you do not want to power on right away. You want to leave it off and you want to connect the charger and leaving it charging for at, at least five to six hours. After five to six hours of fully charged, you want to turn it on without the charger connected and you want to drain the battery slowly you want to just let it drain down to 20% or 30%. After that, you want to power it off and leave it for charging again for five to six hours. After that, you can turn it on as you wish, connecting or not connected the way you want it. This initial charging and this charging is really important for the new batteries. Again, I hope you guys liked this video and helped you guys out. If you have any questions or requests, feel free to leave them in a video comment. I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. As always, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys in my next video.